I came here at about 70, 1970. Hey, Richmond radio listeners were the most different than I had ever seen. At that time, they kept the radio on 24 hours a day. Television would be on, radio would be on. And at that time, they would listen to the DJ talk because then we talked a lot of trash, as was known to say. <laughs> but they would listen to the DJ talk. Whatever the DJ said, they heard. The music, they knew the music, but they paid attention to the DJ. I grew up listening to the jocks in Philadelphia and Baltimore. And to me, I kind of patterned myself after some of the greats, uh, like Jocko Henderson, Georgie Woods, Fat Daddy, WSID in Baltimore. These guys not only were on the air, off the radio, they were always in the community. I was in the community doing dances all over the state of Virginia. I was broadcasting live one day from Southern Furniture Showrooms over on 14th and Hall Street. And something was just not right with the broadcast. So I called the radio station to get this information, whatever needed to be corrected. I got Ben on the phone, Ben saying, hey, Carmichael, uh, you want to wrestle a bear? I said, yeah, OK, yeah. And uh, I'm trying to get my situation straight. He's selling me something else down the phone line. Next thing I know, I'm wrestling a bear. <laughs> yeah. And the bear kicked my butt. <laughs>